Hey guys, uh, Lindy Phipps here. Uh, I just finished my workout. I did back today, and then um, after this, I'm probably going to do some cardio. Um, and but while I was working out, I started thinking about the video that I posted a couple of days ago. Um, it was like my coming out as a binge, as a person who struggles with binge eating disorder, kind of like my coming out video. <laughs> um, and I took a lot of courage to do that. I was really terrified about judgment and um, just dealing with people who don't understand. But I got amazing support. It, um, it's really awesome. Uh, I got a lot of private messages and some emails from people who, um, and just comments on the video um, on Facebook and on Instagram about uh, people also suffering from eating disorders. And I got messages and comments from people who have anorexia and bulimia as well, and they really appreciated that I shared about my entire journey up until now with binge eating disorder. Um, so I thought that was really awesome. It made me feel like, okay, so sharing it was a good thing. Um, it seems to be helping people. So, um, and if you didn't see that video, it's about 30 minutes long because I really go into detail about my binge eating disorder and how I've been dealing with it since my childhood and what I've been doing in the last several months to overcome it. Because I haven't been documenting that. Um, I didn't really want people to know. But when I shared that video the other day, I just realized that a lot of people deal with the same issues that I'm, I've been dealing with for a really long time. And I think that... A, well, from the comments I got, a lot of people feel really alone. Because typically, if you have binge eating disorder, <clears throat> you might not know anybody else that does. And you're getting a lot of people that tell you, just eat in moderation, and it'll be okay, and can't you just stop eating? Because um, they just don't understand, because they've not been through it. Or maybe you're married and your spouse doesn't understand either, or doesn't even know. So I realized a lot of people are feeling alone, and... So I want to share more about my journey with binge eating disorder. And I was, so I was thinking about that today while I was working out that um, people, I think, need something like this to help them. So I'm committing to sharing more about my journey as I overcome binge eating disorder. Um, and just being totally honest and open and raw about it. Um, not just sharing about what's working and my victories with binge eating disorder, but also the struggles as well, because nobody's perfect, we all have struggles, it's, some days just really suck, right? Um, if you're new to BED, if, well, not new to it, I guess what I'm saying is if you have just recently started your journey to overcome BED or your, um, just now acknowledging and recognizing that you have it. I suggest watching that other video that I posted the other day. I'll put the link below this video. And also, I'll create a playlist on YouTube with all of these videos about my journey with BED. So I suggest starting there because I do give some tips about what has worked for me personally. Now, keep in mind, everybody's journey with this is a little bit different. What works for me might not work for you but maybe what works for me will work for you. So I suggest watching that video because I talk about what has worked for me so far. Um, I only started to deal with this October of last year, and I talk about that in the video as well, so I'm not gonna go into much detail here, but I only started to deal with this October of last year. The last several months, I've made huge strides in recovery, huge differences in mental clarity and feeling like I have control, more control, not complete control, but like I have more control. Um, I've made huge accomplishments in my health and fitness goals, and um, and it's been a huge relief. I feel so much better, I feel so much happier, I just, overall, I just feel so much more amazing than I have in the past. Um, and, you know, because I've come from lots of antidepressants and feeling miserable and cutting myself and... Um, even feeling suicidal at one point in my past, about 10 years ago, several years ago, um, to I'm really happy now. Life is good. Um, and binge eating disorder, I had a huge uh, emotional attachment to food for a really long time, and that's why I would binge. 
now I'm to the point in my journey and in recovery psychologically that um, and overcoming some issues I've had in my past that the binges are a habit now. It's not that I'm feeling depressed or sad or whatever when I binge. I'm to the point now where it's just habit and I'm trying to figure out how to break the habit and break that cycle. And it's a struggle. Um, so anyway, I'm... Sorry, I, t I tend to ramble sometimes. <laughs> um, but I am committing to sharing with you guys about this journey and just being really open about it. Um, and I hope that it helps you guys. I hope that you can find a way to overcome it as well or start to get on the road to recovery and use some things that are working for me and maybe they'll work for you. Um, I've also, because I'm doing much better in overcoming this, um, I've decided to register for a bikini competition and I did that last month and um, I did register for it and it's in July and I don't recommend doing something like that unless you're to the point in your recovery that you can handle being more strict about your meal plan. Um, so just a little bit of background, I used to train for half marathons and obstacle races and I just really loved running so I would do 5Ks and 10Ks and things like that. And um, it was, oh, I just loved the challenge, like pushing myself and having that deadline for that event was accountability for me. Um, and I recommend that if you um, are new to health and fitness, register for a 5K like five months from now and hang up a picture of it or something like that. And that's going to help you be more accountable in your fitness goals. At least it did for me. So I had problems with my knees. I saw a couple of different doctors and I've come to accept that I just can't run all the time anymore. I have to do low impact cardio. I'll never be able to do the triathlon like I wanted to. Um, I can't do half marathons anymore. It just... It took me a year to recover from the, from the last half marathon, doing physical therapy. Um, so I had, so I wanted to find something new to challenge myself, and because I can't do a high impact cardio, and I absolutely love weightlifting, I've decided to do a bikini competition. Now it's not official at all; it's very amateur. Um, basically, it's it's like a bucket list for me. I'm not doing it so that I can get my pro card or so that I can be. A professional about it. Um, I've never done anything like this before, so any of you that might be bikini competitors, I probably don't know what I'm talking about, but that's okay. I don't care. Um, I'm doing it for the challenge. I'm doing it to say that, to, to know that I accomplished it. I've always wanted that physique, and I know that physique is only for one day. You work really hard to look that way for one day, and then you um, reverse diet back to a healthier, more maintainable weight. So don't get me wrong, I understand that. But the healthy, maintainable weight, being strong and fit and defined, is what I've always wanted. So to give myself a deadline, to give myself accountability, um, to push myself way the fuck out of my comfort zone because I'm really introverted, um, terrified about getting up on stage in heels, and let alone heels because I'm really clumsy. <laughs> I'm probably going to fall, but that's okay. Um, and getting up there in a bikini is really terrifying, but every time I push myself outside of my comfort zone, every time I challenge myself, do something I've never done before, it always turns out amazing. I always feel like a better, stronger, happier, more confident person because of it. Um, like doing this is coming up outside of my comfort zone, and I know that it'll be a good thing, so I'm just going to do it. I'm ripping the band-aid off and I'm doing it. So anyway, um, if you're new to your journey in recovery, I don't recommend something like that. I do recommend maybe doing like a 5K or something just to hold yourself more accountable for your fitness goals. But I'm doing it this way for me because it aligns with my goals, it aligns with what works for me personally. Um, and I've never been obsessive about restriction and things like that, so I'm excited to see where it takes me. That's 15 weeks away, so in these um, battling binge eating disorder vlogs that I'm going to be putting up. I'm going to attempt to record footage throughout the week just to show you like my day-to-day -day stuff, what I eat, things like that, um, and my exercise. I'm going to try and get one video up a week. I will try and do more than that, but sometimes I just don't have time because the editing for me takes me a while. Um, so I'm committing to at least one video a week, sharing about my week, not just sitting here and talking to you. Um, <clears throat> but I will do some of that too. So I will be sharing that weekly for the next 15 weeks, and I'm going to be sharing about um, my struggles, 
with BED, how I'm overcoming, overcoming it, my meal plan, what I'm eating, my exercise, um, just my day-to-day -day life. So if you're dealing with BED and you need some inspiration or motivation or accountability or just to connect with somebody who relates to you and understands, then reach out to me, subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, and just watch my journey, and I hope that it helps you. Um, I do post regularly on my Facebook page, which is Lindsay Phipps Fitness, or it's Lindsay Phipps Fit Dog Mom, and on Instagram, which is Fit Dog Mom. I'll put links below and a screenshot at the end of this video. But I post there daily, so if you want more daily accountability and just kind of daily connection with somebody who knows your struggles, then follow me on those both, on those two places as well. Um, and then I'll get these videos up at least once a week. Um, so yeah, so watch my journey. Reach out to me if you need help with anything. I hope that this helps. Um, if you need um, more accountability than just sort of watching, um, being a fly on the wall, if you need more accountability than that, then feel free to message me on Facebook or send me a direct message on Instagram. You can email me at lindsayphippsfitness at gmail.com and we can chat there and I can share with you um, the PDF for a free book that it's called Vicious Eating and you can Google it. It's um, Authority Nutrition or something like that. I stumbled across that last year and that book really helped me realize how I needed to handle my binge eating disorder and, it's, and it made a huge difference. So if you can't find that with a Google search, let me know and I can help you get that or I can send you the link or something. Um, but um, if you do want more accountability and a personal connection, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm always happy to talk to people. And um, I do have a Facebook fitness community in a closed group. So if you would like a place to share about your food and share about your workouts and things like that, that's I can add you to that group as well. It's not just people with BED. It's just, it's just a wide variety of people who are working on health and fitness goals. So please know that it's not a support group for BED. It's just people working on health and fitness goals. Um, but for me, it's accountability because I share about what I eat and pictures and things like that. Um, so yeah, so this will be my first vlog with my battling binge eating disorder and getting healthy, fit, and happy. So please subscribe if you like this video and reach out to me if you need to. I'll talk to you later and see you in the next one. Bye.